Hello everybody, it's that Mike Gaming here and today we have another episode of the Football Review. It is Series 1, Episode 6. Nothing really happened during the week in terms of um, big matches, so let's get straight into Saturday's Premier League game. Alright, so to start with the Premier League games on Saturday where uh, Hull City, apparently they actually played quite well, but they only lost 2-0 to Arsenal, so obviously you expect Arsenal to win that, which of course they did. Um... Southampton against all odds went and beat Sunderland by four goals to nil. Good win for them. I thought Sunderland were going to actually pull off a win in that game, but they didn't in the end. Um, Southampton managed to get a, a cracking 4 0 win, really. Uh, and West Ham and West Brom played out a 2 0 thriller. Whereas Liverpool got back on form with a 2 0 win over Spurs. A very good win for us. We're back on form. We're back in um, the top four. Man United still in sixth, which is good for us. Through now fifth, actually. Because Man City won, didn't they? Um, we'll talk about that later. But Liverpool, hopefully, that win against Spurs will get us back on form again. Right, it's one Sunday where uh, Burnley got a great uh, point against Chelsea. That will help them stay up. I think Burnley will stay up this year. Uh, they haven't the last few years have been in the Premier League. But uh, a good one all draw against uh, Chelsea. They're, they're doing all right at home, Burnley, this season. And Swansea got a solid 2-0 win over relegation rivals. Let's see. I think Swansea, I think, will do enough to stay up. Leicester, I think, are, are candidates for going down. I'm not saying they will go down, but I think they are candidates for going down. And that's just about all we've got to review, really. So let's go on to this week's prediction. Manchester City also won a game that you would expect them to win. They got a 2-0 win over uh, Bournemouth away. Apparently, Jesus got quite badly injured and he broke something. Um, haven't heard much about that, but I was told about it uh, just earlier today. That Jesus got injured, so that's a big blow for Man City. So he's back to Aguero then. So, right, now let's make our predictions for this week's fixture. All right, so the Champions League is back this week. So we're going to be making some Champions League predictions. Benfica versus Borussia Dortmund is today on Tuesday the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. Um, I'm going to give Dortmund the 2-1 away win in the first leg. I think Dortmund will be too good for Benfica. I don't think that I think Benfica are a decent side, but I think Dortmund will just be too good for them. And um, PSG versus Barcelona, I'm going to go for a three-one Barca Barca win. I know these two sides have met in the past; they've had some quite close games, but I think Barca have just got better quality in midfield, and they've both got great front lines. But I think Barcelona are better in the middle of the park, and that's where they'll beat them, and that's where they'll get a three-one win for from. So let's go on to. Uh, the next set of Champions League, Champions League games on the Wednesday. Uh, so tomorrow, Wednesday the 15th, we've got Bayern Munich versus Arsenal. I'm actually going to go for a 4-1 Bayern Munich win. I can't see Arsenal be, like giving them competition. I think Bayern are going to batter them this year. They've had a few Scottish games in the past, but I think Bayern are going to destroy them this year. I'm going to go a 4-1 win for Bayern. Um, and Real Madrid, I'm going to give a 3-0 win over Napoli. I'll just quickly do some of the Europa League games. I won't do all of them. <coughs> I'll do the ones the English clubs are involved in. Uh, and any of the other good games that might be in there. Manchester United versus St Etienne. I'm going to give Man United a 2-0 uh, home advantage in that first leg. Uh, Spurs against Ghent. I'm going to give Ghent a 1-0 win because they are the home side. Um... I think they're the only side. Yeah, they're the only side from the Premier League in the, the Europa League. So let's move on to the actual Premier League predictions for this upcoming week. Well, it's actually no Premier League this weekend. It's FA Cup weekend. I've just remembered. So Burnley versus Lincoln City. I'm going to give Burnley a two 0 win. I think Lincoln's Cup run is going to come to an end. They're away from home. The Premier League side. I think Burnley would be too good for them. Um, I think Lincoln probably could get an upset, but I don't think they will this time. So I'm going to give Burnley. The 2 nil win. Uh, Huddersfield Town versus Manchester City. I think Huddersfield will make it difficult for City. Depends what team City put out. I'm going to give City a 2 nil win. Middlesbrough versus Oxford. I'm going to give Middlesbrough a 1 nil win. They've got a 1 nil win against Accrington in the last round. I think they'll do the same again against Oxford. Millwall, they've got another home tie against a Premier League team. They've got Leicester. I'm going to go for a 2 nil Millwall win. I think their cup adventure is going to continue. Wolves. I've got Chelsea. I'm going to give Chelsea a 2-0 win away at Wolves. Let's move on to Sunday. 
We've got two more Premier League games. We've got Fulham versus Tottenham Hotspur. Going to give Spurs a 2-1 win here. Again, I think Fulham will make it difficult. And again, Manchester United are away at Blackburn. I think Black again, Blackburn are going to make it very difficult for United. I'm going to give Blackburn a 1-0 win. Okay, I'm not a United fan, you all know that. So, that's why I'm giving um, a 1-0 win to Blackburn. And then Sutton United, it's the big one. They take on Arsenal on the uh, Monday night. I'm going to give our Sutton a 1-0 win. Sutton, come on. Let your dream continue. They're on a 3G pitch. Arsenal won't be used to it. Sutton are going to win that one. And there's also a big clash in the top of the championship as well. With Newcastle versus Aston Villa. Um... Uh, two teams that came head-to-head -head in the Premier League uh, last year. So, yeah, that's just about it for this episode of the Football Review. Leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Comment down below any of your predictions, whether you disagree or agree with any of mine. And until next time, see you later.